Oh, this one's gonna need a thing. <coughs> oh. All right, I think I can handle this now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Ian's Customs on Forgotten Weapons. This is not actually mine. This is Giga's AK from Polinar Tactical. And we're going to take a look at everything that he has done to it, which in large part involves strapping a magnet to it and dragging it through the Zenitco catalog, basically. Uh, you might think that AKs are heavy rifles to begin with. Well, you'd be forgiven for thinking they were heavy to start with if you pick up this one, which weighs about twice as much as it probably did when it began. So basically everything is, is now on here. We have a uh, side sling mount, twice as big and heavy as it really needs to be. You've got the original sling mount up here, but then of course, in order to make it more tactical, there's been yet another sling mount added up here on the piece of Picatinny rail that's been added to the upper handguard that's been added as a replacement part, I believe off the Zenitco catalog. The thing about the Zenitco rails, of course, is you don't actually need them. And so as soon as you put them on the rifle, you then immediately have to get more accessories to cover them up so that you're not slicing your hand up on the extra rails. So that's why there are rail covers on both sides of the handguard. Now, uh, in order to make this more shootable, it's, I mean, it's not like the recoil from a 10 pound AK is gonna be in any way a problem to begin with, but apparently it was a bit of an issue for Giga. So he put on this really ridiculous compensator that gets rid of some of the recoil by making the gun three times louder and uh, a complete obnoxious mess to everybody who's shooting next to him on the range. Uh, Perhaps that's just a good way to get the range to yourself. I, I can see some benefit to that. Now, this began as a classic collectible Yugoslav M70 rifle, which if you dig underneath all this stuff is mostly there, except of course for the gas cutoff, which I believe has actually been welded in place as well as being, there we go. Uh, in order to make all of these nice additions to the rifle, he took the original grenade launcher sight gas cut off and chopped it off like proper Slavic Bubba. Let's see. If we continue here, uh, we have a pistol grip tastefully stippled with, I think, a, a soldering iron probably and engraved with the Polinar tactical logo. The buttstock is a fantastic piece of uh, add-on equipment. It's, uh, it's really cool. Actually, I got to see the inside of it at Finnish Brutality last year when it actually just snapped off and they had to do a field repair job to re-tap, re-thread uh, the, the attachment point in here. It's theoretically extendable, but really quite tight. Um, the optic has then been added using an aftermarket railed top cover. Uh, these are particularly well known for not actually holding zero very well, but that's okay because the scope on it isn't all that great anyway. So, um, like I said, this, this rifle performed really well at Finnish Brutality last year until it literally broke in half, um, at which point it totally screwed Z Giga on, uh, on one of his stages. But he seems to enjoy it anyway, so I'm sure he'll be bringing this back out to some more competitions and we'll have the chance to see it again. Hopefully this was uh, an entertaining video for you guys. Thanks very much for watching.